farmer Dre back at it. It's been a beautiful day here on the farm. Cold snap is coming in tonight. We got a lot of work here to do on the farm. But today we are working on our play area. We want to give you guys an update on that and show you guys what else we, got to, we haven't planned. Uh, we have them working out there. We got Anna, Adrian, and Chorba working. We're going to go ahead and uh, finish it off. They're yelling at me for filming. It is what it is. Let's get into it. This is the entrance here to the play area. So this is a public sitting area. We're gonna put a bunch more picnic tables out here. We're probably gonna have 20 or 30 picnic tables in total. And then the play area is through these gates here. Uh, the bounce pad officially came in. It's on a pallet in the warehouse. So the bounce pad came in. We got a smaller um, inflatable house for the little kids. Kids five or four and under. We don't wanna, we don't wanna mix in the uh, big, big kids, the little kids, so we're gonna have that going on the pallet maze is complete in my last video i did with the play area you guys saw that we were finishing it up here we got a bunch more flags coming we're gonna put flags everywhere we're making it very festive this maze is pretty cool here of course one of the biggest things we gotta wonder now is uh how we're gonna manage the weeds and grass growing in between them i think we got that pretty much figured out we're gonna come through here and just uh kill a small strip there of grass kind of burn that off there so we keep the grass growing in the pallets there and we'll just mow the rest here but yeah this is the pallet maze right here. So this is the obstacle course we built here. That or we built. They, they built, not me. I just sit here and talk all day long. But uh, it's pretty cool though. We're gonna have a start and finish. The uh, We just got a piece of firewood. We're gonna write start on it. So the kids just kind of walk up here, walk on this. We screwed it in very nice, very safe for the kids. And of course they walk on the obstacle course all the way around. And uh, just finishing it off nicely. They, uh, they're getting it done right. That's why I don't work around here because I don't know how to get stuff done. Correct. <laughs> Look at that. So yeah, we got a bunch of stumps that the kids would jump on and climb on like this. Everything's getting ready. So the bigger kids will be able to walk through here since it's not level. They'll put a sign out the little kids go there. The bigger kids can go up here. They just kind of hop around on this thing right here. All the way around. Just a little obstacle course for the kids to have fun, enjoy, and to play on. And then one of my favorite games is this basketball thing here. We uh been playing quite a bit. Just uh, the feeding trough there. The balls all you do is sit here and shoot balls all day long. Pretty good if I uh, one-handed. Yes, there you go. We're gonna turn the other way just because in the evenings the sun's in the kids' eyes. So all it is, two hoops and an old gravity wagon. You can shoot the balls falls through the trough and back into the right place then we also have these tire swing uh, the big tires here try tires we're gonna build a couple a, a, a couple of tire swings out of this one and if not we're gonna incorporate them in the uh, the obstacle course we're gonna bury them in the ground so the kids can climb on top of them and over them and jump on them a little bit so we got a bunch of telephone poles that uh, we picked up and we're gonna make a tire swing out of them or an, and or bury them in the ground so we uh, we're getting close to finishing the project here. So another thing we have going on here, we have a, we had it, we, when we bought the orchard in the back, there's an old fuel tank there. And what we're doing here is uh, we wash up nicely, make sure it's nice and clean. And we're, we got chalk here on each side here. You need to draw whatever you want or just kind of do whatever over here. Just welcome to Gardner's Play Farm. And then of course you can draw or write whatever you want. So something very simple, we have chalk on both sides here, chalk boxes, and the kids can write whatever they want. And at the end of the day, we just come through here with water or pressure or anything, just kind of wipe it down and just wash it off, and then it's ready for the next day. So it's a whole uh, around thing here. You can draw whatever you want there. Draw and do whatever you want here. So just like that, something very simple. It doesn't cost much to operate and run, but you know, kids will have fun doing it, and of course, we close in with railroad ties with the sand here on the bottom and just kind of separate it, keep the grass from growing right next to it. Just something real nice and easy. And one of my favorites here, uh, even though I don't really fit in it because I'm too tall here, but it's the hamster wheels here. So they're a five foot covert that we cut five foot long here on the track. And these things, just kids run inside of them and they roll. 
back and forth is pretty easy to do. You can just run inside here like this and to the other side there. Yeah, fun stuff. Even though I'm six foot four and the culvert's five foot, it's uh, just fun running back and forth on them. We got two of them here. And then out of the rest of it, because you have to buy 20 stick at a time, we're going to build a slide out of the rest of that five foot culvert there. here on this side we're probably gonna build a uh, swing out of here or tire swing we'll see about that exactly but then on this side here where the chickens are the plan is to uh, have the petting zoo there so we have chickens we're gonna have goat sheep cows and some other odd ends animals some donkeys and whatnot so those mini barns we built the pallet barns we're gonna place them in here so the animals have some type of shelter and uh, yeah so that's pretty much the entire petting zoo or the petting zoo idea, and then of course a play area. So yeah, hopefully it turns out pretty good. We got a lot of plans, and now this is just a start. Like I mentioned, we're starting off small and moving on towards the future. We got bigger and better plans to do, but for now, you gotta start somewhere, see if it works. If it does work properly, we're gonna continue to grow and build, and, and hopefully it turns out pretty good. Alrighty, all this is gonna be it for today. This is a quick little update video on us. With a play area here, kind of take you guys along for the ride step by step. Of course, I'm gonna make a, a complete video of us whenever it's open and we have everything lined up. We still have a lot of work here. It's just kind of farming and doing it on the side whenever we have some extra help around. And just kind of whenever, whenever I'm not working on the farm, we're working on this now. So it's just another project that we we have to get done. But there's always more than it, more than two. There's probably always too many ideas. And not enough manpower to get them all done, but slowly and surely we're gonna push through it and get it all done. Alrighty, y'all, gonna be it for today. If you guys haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button, smash that like button if you guys know today's video. Don't forget, hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I wanna say thanks for watching. You guys have a good day, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.